What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video, we are going to head out to some Goodwill stores that I have been videoing and picking games up at and letting you know that you can find $4 games that are well worth it. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so I frequently get in my car after work or on Saturdays or Friday nights and I hit up some thrift stores, I hit up some pawn shops, I hit up some Goodwills, and honestly, I find some good stuff. Now, none of it is very expensive and I play most of the games, if not uh, almost all of them, I either keep them and play them and put them on the shelf and enjoy them or I sell them and make a little bit of a profit, that way I can keep adding games to the collection. That's what this is all about. But I want to show you guys that you can get games that are for good consoles for $4 or less going to Goodwill. So this is going to be only about Goodwill hunting. Well, Goodwill game hunting. Let's let's rephrase that. That way people don't get confused with the actual movie Goodwill hunting. So I'm going to go to a few Goodwills and show you that yes, you can pick up games for really cheap and actually have a bunch of fun with them. So what we're gonna do now is hit up the first one and we're gonna just have some fun. So let's go check it out. Okay, so I've got two games here that I want to talk about and I'm going to try to get the name of one of these right and we'll see if it actually happens. And the first one is Rise of the Kasai. I'm just going to say that and assume that that's right. If it's wrong, whatever. This is a follow-up to The Mark of Kari or Kari, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not great at pronouncing names. But this game was $4 at this Goodwill, um, and I believe, nope, it's just the disc, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not expecting to get complete games all the time. As long as the disc and the artwork's there, I'm very happy with it because I can very much enjoy this. Now, this game looks like it's going to be fun, like the Mark of Kari or wherever it's called. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, don't hate me for it, but this should be a good game and honestly for four bucks if I don't like it I mean, I'm not out that much I'm very happy to have picked that up and the next game I'm actually really happy to pick up because I get to add it to the collection and it's something I didn't already have and that is We Party You which is actually a great game from what I've played of it I haven't played all of it, but this is a great game if you like uh, Mario Party and you like all the mini games, this is a fun one. Um, I haven't played all of them like I said, but for $4, I am super stoked about this. You won't find this at a GameStop or a used game store. You're not going to find this for 4 bucks. so I'm really happy about that. I wanted to show you guys that yes, you can get games for cheap, under $5, 
and really enjoy um, what you're picking up. So I am stoked to get this. I love the Wii U, but I don't have this game for it just because it never was cheap enough. And so I saw this and I knew that I had to have it and have fun with it. So we're gonna go to the next Goodwill because I only found two games at this one, but we're gonna head to the next one and see what else I can find. Okay, so we head to the next one, and honestly, we don't find much here, but I did find at least one game. I also bought some shoes uh, that I like to flip and resell too, so if you notice that I'm carrying around shoes, that's probably because I'm going to pick them up to flip. I also like to do that, so I say go to Goodwills and find things that are worth money that you can flip to fund game collection as well. You're never going to be disappointed if you can find some extra games that you or extra things that they sell that you can sell in order to buy more games. But back to the story at hand, we've got Street Fighter EX3 for $4 yet again. Now all the Goodwills that I go to, they put, par, price their games at $4. And then if they end up getting like a fancy game or a game that's really expensive, they'll mark it up. But all the games in this video today were only $4 each. And I am super, super stoked about that. Now this looks like a fun game. I've never played Street Fighter EX3, so we're going to see if I like it or not. But it looks like something that I should enjoy. And so I saw that and I was like, four bucks, I'm going to pick this up. At least play it on the PlayStation back here on the CRT. This right here, if I can point properly while kind of looking, um, and we'll have a bunch of fun with it. Honestly, for four bucks, I can't be disappointed in this. Now, what we're gonna do is go to the next Goodwill now, and this next Goodwill, unbelievably, had a ton of games that I picked up. Honestly, I don't always um, go to these and get a lot of stuff, but this time I ended up spending um, more money than I normally would, but honestly, the games were cheap, so I couldn't be complaining about that. So let's head out there.
Okay, so here we are back from that um, Goodwill, and I mean, look, I picked up seven games, which meant I spent $28 plus tax, so it was like uh, 30 bucks, honestly. Um, but I picked up some games that I'm gonna play and have a ton of fun with. So let's start off with the PSP games. If you've been watching the channel, you know that I love PSP games, and I mean, what's not to love about them? You can get them for dirt cheap, and you can take them anywhere on the go. I think this is the the Switch before the Switch, honestly. Now I know you had the 3DS. Don't don't get me wrong. That the 3DS is awesome. The DS is awesome. Those are great systems, and I love them as well. But for some reason, right now the PSP has been what I wanted and what I've needed, and so I've been playing it and having a ton of fun. And people are even commenting saying, "Hey, you're making me want to get one." Go do it, it's cheap. You can find them for 30 bucks and then you can find games for under $4. Well, these are $4, under $5. So first off is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And now I have seen this actual game there before it didn't have the game in it. But this time I opened it up and they must have found it or someone found it and put it in here. And so I was super stoked to see that because I picked up another Harry Potter game last month and I haven't played it yet but I'm definitely gonna play both of them and hopefully I can see about finding more of these and that's very awesome and then next I found Peter Jackson's King Kong the official game of the movie I don't know anything about this but for four bucks I mean look at this it's a PSP game that is based off of a movie which probably means it's not gonna be a great game but it was four dollars and I get to add this to the collection I'll have fun with it and we'll see where it goes honestly it could be a really good game I don't know much about it but if you get to destroy stuff as Kong I mean this is gonna be awesome so we'll see about that um, I'm very very excited about that next is a game that isn't really worth that, that much but it's a PS4 game that I didn't have so I figured I'd pick it up because it was only four dollars if, if I keep saying four dollars that's because literally Every game that I picked up here, I've got what, 10, 11, 12 games, they were all $4. And Destiny was actually one of them. I've never played Destiny, I don't know uh, if I really enjoy it, I've heard things about it, good and bad, but honestly, for $4, I saw it and I looked and I was like, it looks like it's complete, 4 bucks. let's try it out, see if I like it. If not, it's 4 bucks, and I'll use it to trade or resell or something I'll put it on Amazon I don't know however I'm gonna get rid of it I'll do that if I don't like it and then next I was up there and I tried to get good footage and I'm sorry if this wasn't great footage here um, because right where it is is right next to the cashier stand and oftentimes it's hard to get footage there so just bear with me there but I got Scooby-Doo first frights on the Wii um, and it was complete I checked that before and I was very happy about that and so I looked at this graphics and everything and they look absolutely ridiculous so I'm definitely gonna play this because it just looks weird and wacky and I'll probably enjoy it so when I saw this I was like yet again four bucks I'm gonna do this I cannot complain about it and walking through the store I also found another Scooby-Doo game and that was Scooby-Doo Night of a Hunt of uh, what a thousand a hundred frights Night of a hundred frights and it had a broken clip so I just took that out just now but it's there it's complete look at this check this out four bucks yet again four bucks Scooby-Doo Night of a hundred frights I saw this and I was like shoot another Scooby-Doo movie or game not movie game I'm gonna pick it up you guys know I'm happy about that because of what it was then I got Midnight Club 3 dub edition remix on the PlayStation 2 as well and I think maybe this is one that's worth much if not whatever I'm gonna play it and have some fun I'm not trying to sell this unless I if, unless I have this somehow uh, and I didn't realize it I don't think I do so I'll see what that's worth and maybe um, Maybe I'll sell it if I want to, if I have another copy, but if not, I'll definitely keep this and be able to play it and have a ton of fun. And last but not least is SSX. Um, I want to say tricky, but it's actually just SSX. Um, this is a snowboarding game. If you know snowboarding games, this is one of the best ones, one of the fun ones. Uh, at least I think it's one of the best ones. I enjoy the SSX trick. Uh, I keep trying to say it. 
I enjoy the SSX series. I always have a lot of fun and I love the snowboarding games of this air. They're always a lot of fun. When I think back, I think of snowboarding games, I think of skateboarding games, and this is one of those snowboarding games that I think of, so I definitely am glad to add this collection. Okay, so here we are. I got all the games. Check this out. I got 11, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games, all for $4 a piece. You guys can see that. You guys know that, hey, these are good games that I got from Goodwill. Um, and I want to show you guys that yes, you can get good games from Goodwill at good prices. So this video is all about that. You guys have seen it in this video. You've seen me hunting for it and all that. So I want to know what you guys find that is a good price from your local Goodwills. Now, if you don't have a local Goodwill, but you have another place that is like Goodwill, another thrift store that you go to quite regularly, comment down below and let me know what it is and kind of what you get there. What's your favorite pickup and what was the best price you get? So with that being said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button because it lets, uh, not the like button, hit the like button, but also hit the bell notification because it lets you know when I post more videos, which is almost, if not every day. So with that being said, one more time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.